Hello my learner friends. Today we are going to learn a very interesting topic of particle size distribution. Particle size distribution plays a very important role in pharmaceutical industry. So the particle size is important in the performance of product. For example, a catalyst, uh, its catalytic activity is dependent on the um, particle size, the dilution rate of a tablet, the flowability of granules, the stability of suspension, that is the rate of sedimentation, all these performance of uh, formulation, as well as the efficacy of delivery system. For example, the asthma inhalers is dependent on its particle size of its constituents. So how do we define particle dimension? Particles are three-dimensional asymmetric object. They cannot be fully described by a single dimension such as radius or diameter unless they, uh, they are spherical in nature. Therefore, particles are defined using the concept of equivalent spheres. Different measurement techniques use different equivalent sphere models. For example, the same particle can be represented as a sphere of uh, same length or uh, sphere of same maximum length or minimum length or sphere of same weight or volume, sphere of same surface area, sphere of uh, sphere of same sedimentation rate, uh, sphere passing uh, uh, through same uh, sieve aperture. Uh, so as uh, as uh, uh, we may be knowing, materials are rarely monodispersed in nature, and it contains uh, particles of varying particle sizes. Therefore, it is a common practice to represent particle size distribution in the form of either a frequency distribution curve or a cumulative distribution curve. The particle size distribution can be represented in different ways with respect to the weighting of individual particles. So it could be number weighting, volume weighting, intensity weighting. And this weighting mechanism depends on the, uh, the measuring principle used by the measuring device. So now uh, shortly some statistics used in particle size distribution. Mean is the average of the population. Median is the particle size where 50% of the population is below or above the given size. Mode is the particle size with uh, highest frequency. So now there are different uh, different uh, ways to represent the means which re, uh, which represent PSD data. So first one is the number length mean d1 comma 0 or xnl. This is also referred to as arithmetic mean. It is the most uh, important where the number of particles is of interest, and it can be measured only uh, only if uh, the total number of particles in the sample is known. So, uh, this has application in qualification of sterile areas where class 10 or class 100 area is being qualified. The second uh, uh, type of mean is surface area moment mean. So as it uh, represents it rep uh, uh, it indicates the equivalent particle of equivalent surface area uh, it is also called so uh, shorter mean diameter 
uh, it is the most relevant where specific surface area is important for example uh, api is having low bioavailability and uh, having uh, dissolution concerns shorter mean diameter is also referred in uh, usfd guideline on uh, septic processing the volume moment mean d4 comma 3 or xvm the volume moment mean that is d rock and d broker mean diameter is relevant for many samples as it is reflects the size of those particles which constitute the bulk of the sample volume and as name indicate volume moment mean measures the sphere of equivalent volume so uh, this is very important note if we aim to monitor the size of a coarse particle in the bulk of sample then uh, d4 comma 3 or volume moment mean would be more appropriate whereas if it is uh, more important to monitor the proportion of points then it might be more appropriate to use the d3 comma 2 or surface area moment mean another statistics used to represent psd data is percentiles for volume weighted particle size distribution it is convenient to uh, report parameters based upon the maximum particle size of given percentile the percentiles are defined as x a b where x is usually uh, d uh, that is diameter a is distribution weighting for example n for number b for volume and i for intensity and b is the percentage of sample below this particle size for example 50 percent which is also represented by decimal 0.5 the most common percentiles reported are dv10 dv50 and dv90 representing 10 percent 50 percent and 90 percentile of particles so by monitoring these three parameters it is possible to see if there is significant change in the main particle size as well as uh, uh, it can indicate the changes in the extremes of particle size distribution which could be due to presence of fines which will impact d10 or uh, agglomerates uh, which will impact the d90 so thank you for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe see you again